sharing that story, an important message for sure. And as you mentioned, there will be educational events as well as celebrations coming up this weekend. The weather is going to be heating up. We've got some 90s in the forecast for your Saturday for all of those Juneteenth celebrations. Here is Greensboro today with plenty of sunshine. Yeah, this is worth celebrating. You've got a lot of beautiful air in place. Now that will be changing as we are going to bring back the muggy conditions and it'll be a hot, humid Juneteenth and we've got temperatures that are going to be in the low 90s by then. So that's probably the hottest on our seven day forecast. Then we're going to drop down just a little bit on Sunday and Monday. Speaking of dropping down, look at the morning temperatures out there. Some 40s today, 46 in Martin and Reedsville, as well as North Wilkesboro at 46, 52 in Mount Airy, 50 in Galax, and temperatures in the mid to upper 50s across the triad. The high temperatures today are in the low 80s, and yeah, if you're out in the sun, it does still feel hot, but the humidity is so low, so it's a very dry heat, and it's comfortable because we've had a little bit of a breeze. It'll stay comfortable tomorrow, and then it gets muggy on Saturday, and then we've got some steamy air in place on Sunday and Monday, so tomorrow's still a good day to get out and enjoy. It is going to be hotter, though. I've got high temperatures that are close to 90 degrees in the triad by late tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> you may want to get out earlier. You've got 89 tomorrow afternoon in the foothills, and then a high of 84 tomorrow in the mountains. Our front is still down to the south. That's why we still have dry skies. That's why it's going to be a dry day for us tomorrow. The wind changes direction out of the southwest, so it's going to warm us up for sure. We'll have a little bit of a breeze, but it'll be a warmer breeze. We'll start in the upper 50s, so a little bit warmer than we had out there this morning. Mid 50s to start in the foothills and then working our way through the 80s with a high of about 89 tomorrow afternoon in those foothill counties. Temperatures in the mountains will be in the mid 80s, so it's a warm day even even in the high country tomorrow. When does the rain come back, right? We've got dry conditions Friday and Saturday. By Father's Day, I've got at least a small chance for some showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms in the picture. So low 80s by lunchtime, definitely a muggy day on Sunday. High temperature about 86 with those scattered storms. We're watching a couple of things. There's this front here, which is actually going to cool us down again by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So yeah, we're getting into the 90s, but we're going to be back down cool like it is out there right now next week. Ahead of that front down to the south, this is what could become tropical depression number three, tropical storm Claudette here over the next 24 hours. So this potential tropical cyclone three moving north, potentially making landfall on the Gulf Coast Friday night into early Saturday morning, being picked up in advance of that front and kind of turned in our general direction by early next week. So the models are kind of picking up on that as well. But again, the reconnaissance aircraft having a hard time actually finding a center right now. So it's kind of hard to track something that's not officially organized itself. So this will likely change. There's a tropical storm warning up though from Mobile all the way through the Louisiana coast. One of the computer models bringing the rain northward by Sunday into Monday and then pushing it off our coast by late Monday. And then of course, Tuesday and Wednesday, we've got that front coming in here and that's when our temperatures are gonna drop back down again. So we do have a wet eight to 14 days ahead of us and potentially a wet July, August and September. And it looks like we're gonna have some heat at least on our seven day forecast with some 90s initially and then much cooler air again next week with highs in the low 80s Wednesday and Thursday. You're watching WXII 12 and now the modern automotive sports report. All right, here we go. The Olympics are just over a month away and another North Carolinian is vying for a spot 